Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest update for the HomePod, which is the HomePod 14.2 update. Now, it brings a bevy of new features in 14.2 for the HomePod, uh, so in this video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at it. So the HomePod is nearly three years old, and this is the most significant update that it's gotten in a while. Uh, so there is now the new intercom feature, which basically acts as a two-way radio feature. Uh, so what we can do is just simply go into the Home app. And before we go into the Home app, we can go into the software update, and then we'll say software version 14.2 for the HomePod. And now once you've done that, what we can do is just simply go into the Home app, and then tap on the top where the Home is. And then we can go into Home settings. And now you're going to see that there's a new intercom feature right here. So what we can do is simply tap. And then once you tap on it, you're going to see that it'll give you a chance to receive notifications never when I'm home or anywhere for the intercom. So you just choose anywhere. So And then you have your user profile right here so it can recognize your voice and everything like that. And then you have the intercom feature where you can communicate with a bunch of different home pods within your home as well. Now the intercom feature works on the iPhone, the Apple Watch, CarPlay, and your AirPods, and much more. So this is one of the biggest features that we have seen to date. So what we can do to activate it is just activate Siri, and then we can say, intercom, this is a test. This is a test. So you can see that's what you can do. And all you have to do is just say intercom first right after activating Siri. Now there is another way just going to the home uh, app and then tapping on the top right. This is a test. Please subscribe to Apple Critics. This is a test. Please subscribe to Apple Critics. So you can see it shows a green illumination and then it plays the actual uh, audio uh, for the intercom. So you can be away from home, let's say you're getting groceries, and then you send a message to your HomePod or to any of your home connected devices, then it'll go ahead and play uh, that message and say that you're coming home soon or something like that. So this is like a two-way uh, walkie-talkie type of feature, and it's really, really good overall. Uh, and it's just very easy uh, to navigate. Now there is a guide right here, so you can just simply tap on it. It says how to use your HomePod as an intercom. And then it just gives you some more information right here. So you could just uh, say, hey Siri, and then you can say the following and everything like that. So it's just really, really good in that way. Uh, so it's just very well polished, and this is just a sign of things to come. Now among other features, what we can do is tell the HomePod, hey Siri, search web for Apple Critics. I found some web results. I'll send them to his iPhone. So you heard that the HomePod will actually send web results to my iPhone now. Uh, so that's really good. Now the HomePod mini is also right on the horizon as well. Uh, so that means that uh, we can now have a much smaller HomePod uh, with less sound quality based on its size, but it still is much more affordable at $100. And it's gonna compete with the Google Home mini and the Amazon Echo with Alexa and everything like that. So that is right around the corner. And then you'll be able to use uh, the intercom feature much more frequently since it's much cheaper to get a HomePod mini and get a bunch of them around the house rather than spending approximately $400 on a normal HomePod speaker. Uh, so that's huge. Now, another new feature is that you can use your Apple Music library as a wake up alarm for your HomePod. Now you probably would have thought that this feature would have been there already, but now it's here. Now you can also use Siri in the HomePod to stop alarms uh, across all your HomePods as well. And now you can look at a map location uh, through your HomePod and then it'll pop up on your iPhone. Uh, so that is really, really good overall. The HomePod is just getting some more usability and it's finally getting to where it should be overall as a HomePod device. So if you thoroughly enjoyed this video, if you did, be sure to smash the like button down below and also be sure to subscribe for more great content. Be sure to check out all the videos on my channel and be sure to check out AppleCritics.com for Apple News News and more. Like my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash AppleCritics. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash AppleCritics. And also follow me on Instagram at AppleCritics. And be sure to once again subscribe for more great content. And thanks for watching.